Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do, well, how to make a glossy button because glossy buttons are super cool. So basically, I'm going to take a rounded marquee here, a rounded box. We'll make it square. Now, what I'm doing here now is I'm going to create the fill inside. So with the box selected, you go up to object. And then you go to, let's see here, path, offset path, and preview. You can see it got bigger. We don't want it to be bigger. We want to offset it negatively. We can probably get away with what it already has here. Yeah, there we go. One's better. Click OK. So now we have a box in here. We have a box out here. We have a box in here. Um, I'm going to apply a gradient to the middle one here. Where's my lovely gradient? There we go. I like uh, blue. Blue's a real cool color. I think a lot of people like blue. And I'm going to make the tops and bottom lighter. I'll show you in a second. So, okay, uh, let's do angle 90. Okay, so it's lighter up on the top and the bottom areas. Because now what we're going to do is we are going to offset this box just a little bit. Go back up to object, path, offset path. Let's do a little preview here. That's too much. Nope. Oh, three. There we go. Okay, so now we have three boxes because we offset them. Now we're in the third one here. And I'm going to change the color here. I'm just going to do a darker blue. That's kind of nifty. I'll, 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 I'll take that one. We'll put it on an angle here, maybe 120. Oh, there we go. It's selected 120. Yeah, that'll do it. Grab a circle. Okay. We're going to put it right about there. We're going to add another gradient. We want to do a, a round one, and let's see here. We want it all white, both both white. Uh, I'll do R RGB. We want it white, and then this one. Come on, there you go. We want it white as well, and this guy add an opacity of a hundred. this okay so with the the middle box selected okay press control C or command C and then select the glare portion and have your transparency tab open double click that box control F and now we have the glare contained in the middle here and that's pretty much I mean it's pretty much a glossy button you could do a few things here um, you can select the the glare portion. Oh, make sure you get out of this area and you click here. Click the glare glare portion, and we can maybe try like a soft light if that does anything, or a multiply, or a screen, you know. But that's pr pretty much it. You can also, if this is too boring for you, you could always you know put a put some sort of uh, gradient on the edge. So, let's see here, what am I doing? And grab a thing in there, so, you know, just to spice it up, and there you go, there's your glossy button. It's wonderful, isn't it?